Yeah, I can do that. Uh, it's the rhino, then it's the elephant, and it's the buffalo, and it's the lion, and it's the leopard. Yeah, I know it. I could be the buffalo, I guess. He's quite, quite chilled out and just hangs out wherever he wants, doesn't he? I don't know. <laughs> Impressive knowledge, Andreas, who you might remember was ETW's one to watch in 2013. We last caught up with a Dane at the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship, where his European Tour card wasn't yet under lock and key. I knew that I had to, had to have one, at least one very good result to, to keep my card, and that was, that, was, that was quite a bit of pressure on me, I guess. I was on that mark for quite a bit of the, the last part of the season. The leopard up there. Hmm. You see the, the big jackal berry? Yeah. Just the rock there. Up. I'll tell you what, you have got eyes like... Yeah, that's hawk. ridiculous. Come on, kitty, 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 kitty. I played too much golf in that period, and I, mentally I wasn't, I wasn't really there. Maybe I shouldn't even have gone to, to Australia. I wasn't really ready up in, in my head, I guess. And I felt that playing the tournament. I mean, I, I, I played as well as I could, and I gave it all I had, but it, it, it just it wasn't there. So you said an, a leopard took off a ranger's head here. I took off his skull, apparently. And we see a leopard here. I'm not feeling very comfortable now. The car still has his magic. You can push, big boy. I'll sit in the front, steer the wheel. <laughs> you just tell me where to go. If you think that's nerve-wracking, it's nothing compared to the final stage of Q School at PGA Catalonia in Spain last month, where Harto went into the final round of six, a precarious tied 18th. When I got onto the 16th green, it said eight on the board, eight was numbered, then I walked off the 16th green, and they changed it to nine again. So I knew it was going to be nine. I knew it wasn't going to go to 10. So I knew what I, what I had to do on the last two, and. Uh, and I pulled it off, which was very nice, but I was, uh, I was nervous as I've never been before, I think. I mean, who invented that animal? <laughs> All year, Andreas has been the funny man on tour, retaining his sense of humor, even when his golf could have left him miserable. Now he's back for more. Walk out, there we go. <laughs> I have to be myself, I have to be the silly kind of guy to keep sane, I guess. <laughs> You can't lose yourself in the game. That's, that's the last thing I want to do playing golf. I don't want to lose myself any, uh, in anything I do in life. <laughs> I'm myself and I know who I am. Got the winnings from last year on Challenge Tour. This year I hope to fill it up all the way to the top. That's the way I'm going to be. I've got my golf shoes ready, my dancing shoes in case I want to do some dancing when I'm out. Love me or hate me. That's not something you see in Copenhagen every day. So, now a seasoned pro, what are the lessons learned from 2013? What exactly are the goals? What's the attitude? What's the Grand Harto plan for the new European Tour campaign? I played probably too many tournaments in a row at some point in the season and stuff like that, so I probably would have played a little less. Um, but other than that, I mean, I, I gave it all I had, and that's all you can do, I guess, in this game. I made him something that what was looking on the other side. Was he? Yeah. And you're for real, huh? Yeah. yeah. Did you hear that? I think you should get in the car. <laughs> you learn every year you're out here, and uh, now it's going to be my third try. That was up and close, huh? Yeah, how close you've been to dying now. Hopefully, uh, this is going to be uh, yeah, third time lucky. It sounds strange, but the near-death experience we just had before with the interview, that was, that was quite, quite cool, I thought. We, I mean, we almost, uh, we could have got killed by a leopard, though. That's, that's not something you see every day, I guess. That's the biggest memory I'm going to have from, from this trip. 